Hey people of the interwebs, it's Q back again with another scuba diving adventure. It's 6.30 on a Saturday morning and today's scuba diving adventure is going to be a little bit different um, because we're going on our kayaks. Um, not many people do this but it really is a lot of fun. So first thing I'm going to do is lower this wonderful kayak onto the top of my car. So I'll show you the little contraption that I built <laughs> to lower this thing onto the car. This is actually um, what, uh, it's a boat winch off a boat trailer. Uh, I'm not sure if I can do this with one hand. I think I need to have two hands. So Ooh, no, if I just pull that out, that's going to drop on the car. <laughs> we don't want that happening. Just bear with me. What I'll do is, as you can see, it's not on the car. I'm going to put the camera down and then we'll, um, <laughs> we'll use two hands to lower this thing down. <laughs> okay, so that one's all good. And that one's all nice and tidy. And that is not going anywhere. So, that's a kayak all loaded up. And all the other scuba gear is already in the back of the car because I did that last night. I think the only other thing that needs doing is the car needs a bloody good clean. But that's not gonna happen today because we're going kayak diving, yeah. So it's seven o'clock in the morning and it's 16 degrees centigrade in the words of the, of the immortal Jon Snow winter is coming in the southern hemisphere at least um, I'm going a slightly different way today because uh, up at the top of this road here there's usually uh, a barrier across the entranceway but I guess some council workers must have forgotten to close it and lock it again so this really is a shortcut to where I would normally have to go. Um, see, there's the barrier there, and it's it's open. And um, this actually takes off around about eight minutes of drive time for me, which is really, really handy. So, same old routine. We are heading down to the Calandra Coast to Wildcat Dive. Uh, today we're gonna meet up with uh, Gordo, my dive buddy. Uh, Steve, he's the dive instructor at the dive shop, and then we'll see who else turns up, and uh, then we'll head out to our dive spot, which I'm not sure what it'll be today, get the kayaks loaded up, get our gear on, and head out to the dive spot. It's a lovely day for it, and we should have no wind to speak of, which makes kayak diving really, really nice. All right, I'll see you lot at the dive shop. All right, so there's been a slight change of plan on the kayak diving. It's been postponed. <laughs> Because I'm laughing. It's not funny, I'm going to cry. Delayed with excitement. Delayed with it's eager really anticipation. Eager. Uh, because... I'm just teasing you, Baz. Yeah. Um, because we've had some customers turn up who haven't got kayaks, so we're just doing a normal show. They rock. Rock. They rock. They rock. Sorry, they bomb Yeah, bomb <laughs> <laughs> So we're just doing a normal show dive. Uh, maybe we'll do a kayak dive tomorrow, who knows? There is nothing normal about how we dive, that's true. So I'm just going to grab a tank. Oh, 
So the poor kayak sitting on top of the car, eagerly anticipating going out to play in the water today, and it ain't going anywhere now. Okay, so the BC's all set up, and the regs are on, and I think we've got 200 bar. That'll do nicely, thank you. So must remember to turn the air off for traveling, because we don't want to get there and find that the air has been sneakily leaking out. And we've got bugger all left to dive with. Keys, they are useful, aren't they, sometimes? If you want to drive away. Let's go diving, come on! Oh dear. Now you don't know who I am. No, we don't recognize you at all. Just some thug in a hoodie. What's up, old boy? So what we do at this dive site is we gear up at top here uh, and then walk down to the waterline and uh, once we're in the water we lay on our backs and do a surface swim out anything from 150 to 200 meters before we drop down onto our dive spot. We do this because basically this area is quite shallow. Um, the water temperature today was 23 degrees centigrade, that's 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Visibility uh, was about 5.5 meters, that's about 18 feet. Um, it looks very cloudy in the water. The vis was quite good, the camera really doesn't give a good uh, visual interpretation of, of what the vis was actually like. So as you can see we've dropped down into 6.3, 6.4 meters of water, I got 200 bar and we have taken a heading and we're just basically cruising around. One of the things I like to do when I'm scuba diving is to check underneath all of these ledges and stuff like that because this is where you'll find uh, wobbegong sharks, octopus occasionally and certainly a lot of painted crays. Um, so one of the things is to always check because you never know what's gonna be in there that's well worthwhile looking at during your dive. And there's Lee there, he's actually doing exactly what I was doing. He's looking underneath a different ledge just to see if there's anything uh, worth pointing out to the um, customers. But he comes up empty handed, nothing there, very disappointed. Fish life in this area is generally on the smaller side. A um, lot of smaller fish, rarely will you get a bigger fish. It just seems to be the area for, for the, the juveniles to uh, live and uh, grow up to be bigger fish. And I guess then once they're bigger fish, they disappear off into other areas. Oh, here's what a sea urchin looks like once it's died and all the spines have fallen off and the insides have been eaten out by something. Oh, these little guys are quite cute, very colourful. Again, the camera really doesn't show off the colours too well, but these, uh, these little guys were darting around and look just fantastic colours on them. This little fella! He was about the size of your thumbnail, and he was dancing around in the current there, just doing his own thing. I don't know what he was doing, but very cute. Again, the color's not really showing up very well with the camera.
this shoal of something came swimming in and as soon as I blew out some air they all scattered off in the opposite direction. There's some nice corals around here. This one always, when I see this type of coral, I always think somebody's, you know, had a go at trying to make some pottery and failed badly and they've just gone, ah, this is rubbish, and <laughs> thrown it away. There's a little fish hiding behind here, which I was trying to get a look at, but he spotted me coming and darted off. Uh, but then I thought, oh, hang on, let's have a look at this coral. One of the things I really do want to get is uh, a macro lens, so you can really see the fine detail of these these corals. Um, this camera just doesn't seem to do, it doesn't focus when you get up close. To see these uh, in, in fine detail in, in a macro lens would be absolutely fa fantastic. Found this little shell as well. Um, you don't see these many shells like this around normally. So turn him over to have a look, see what kind of coloration he had. Pretty nice. And of course we don't take anything. We're not allowed to take anything. So we just have a look and put it back where we found it and wander on. We're coming to the end of the dive and I figured I'd better turn around and check that we've got all the divers with us. Total dive time for this dive today was 61 minutes. It's not too bad. and navigated us safely back to our exit point. Turn around and check that everyone's still alive and good and well, and then people start saying, oh, did you see this? Did you see that? So it was a good dive. Well, it wasn't too bad. Now comes the fun part, <laughs> cleaning the gear. Cleaning everything. Oh, yeah. Hello, thug life. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Get the wasp Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> you noob. Okay. I accidentally hit the wasp mess. Where is it? Is that here on the windowsill? Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't piss them off. They'll get pretty angry. <laughs> and now comes the boring bit of diving, washing all that corrosive salt water off your gear. Yeah.